So I want to tell you a story today about this little bearing here. Now, considering the fact that this is a virtual reality, augmented reality conference, a story about a bearing may not seem that exciting, but hang in there with me. So what if I told you, you could build a compelling AR experience with this bearing inside of three simple steps with no specialized hardware glasses, no special skill sets, and all with nothing more than a browser and your cell phone, all right? And what if we could automatically find assemblies and parts that actually contain this bearing, all within that same browser, and pull those parts into our AR experience as well? In fact, what if I didn't even have the bearing itself, and all I had was a piece of paper and a pen? So starting with just a piece of paper and a pen, and within three short steps, and nothing more than a browser and a smartphone, you could build an exciting AR experience from scratch. Sound good? Now, keep in mind, this could be anything, okay? It could be a chair, it could be a dishwasher part, uh, it could be a vehicle, okay? Basically, if you're watching this and you manufacture anything, just substitute the bearing with your thing, okay? Because if we can make a bearing exciting inside of 20 minutes, then I'd love for you to come visit our FISNA booth here at the VRAR Global Summit and let us dive deeper with you. So how are we going to do this? I said three steps, right? So here's what we're going to do. Step one. We're going to draw and upload a picture of the bearing. Step two, we're going to use FISNA's 2D to 3D technology to match our drawing to a 3D model of that bearing. And step three, we're going to bring that bearing to life on our smartphone. So let's start sketching. Now, I mentioned at the beginning how a bearing might not seem all that exciting at a VR AR conference. But that's pretty much exactly the reason I wanted to use it. I want to show you how something this simple can actually grow into something way more meaningful. Okay, so I have a drawing of my bearing here. Now let's take a picture of my drawing. Okay, take a picture. Okay, cool. And now we're going to leverage FISNA's 2D to 3D image translation service, where we're able to take just regular photographs and match them to 3D models. Now we're going to use the FISNA interface for this, but we could easily call this via the FISNA APIs to integrate into your applications, however you see fit. Now, all we're going to do is grab my wonderful drawing here that I pulled off my phone and simply drag and drop it into FISNA's classify image utility. And within a few moments here, we will see that FISNA was in fact able to find a 3D model of the bearing I was looking for. Now, we'll get into the specifics of that 3D model here in a bit, but I can now take that 3D model and with a simple API called a FISNAS AR Viewer, I now have a full augmented reality experience on my phone, running simply in a browser where I can engage and interact with the bearing. And again, think of this as your product uh, from your 3D models, okay? I can grow it or shrink it. I can place it anywhere I like. I can walk around and take a full 360 degree view. Um, the AR viewer is even intelligent enough to sense depth and allow me to wave my hand in front of the phone and you'll see my hand actually covers the bearing. And again, we were able to do this with no specialized hardware, no special skills, and with just a browser on my phone. And technically, starting only with a drawing. Okay, now hopefully that was fun, but now let's make it real. Now I told you we would come back to that 3D model, right? Well, much like 3D is at the core of virtual and augmented reality, 3D is also at the core of FISNA. And in 2021 and beyond, it's the foundation from which almost all manufacturing is done. And so I wanna show you what happens when you're able to tie these three worlds together with the 3D data you likely already have at your disposal, okay? So let me start with the basics. So FISNA leverages powerful machine learning algorithms that become calibrated to your data and your 3D models. And then it helps translate that data into actionable intelligence. So from instantly comparing parts to part classification, to where and how each part is used, while also allowing you to identify components and alternatives to those parts. And of course, build an AR experience for each and every model with a simple API call. And we can do all of this with zero bill of materials. So no parts lists, 
all based solely on the 3D geometry of the part itself. So this is why this bearing example is so important. Because if you're a manufacturer of thousands of parts, or in the case of some of our customers, hundreds of thousands of parts, something as similar in shape as a round bearing is something you probably have a lot across all of your products. Now, if you've been in the manufacturing world for many years, you very well could have dozens of the exact same part, just called different things. You know, built for different equipment at a different time, or maybe through M&A, different file names, designed in different CAD packages. None of that matters to FISNA. You simply ingest all your 3D files into FISNA, and we can start providing insights almost instantly. So let me show you an example. If we were to open up this bearing inside of my CAD tool here, and let's do something very simple, okay? We're, we're just gonna punch a hole in it. So I come down here and punch a simple hole, and I'll save this as a new file. I'll call it bearing 99. Okay, cool. I can now simply upload that bearing 99 part into FISNA alongside the original part. And we can see that bearing 99 has been successfully uploaded. Now, if I go to my most recently uploaded parts, I can see that bearing 99, in fact, did show up in the list. And if I click on it, I can see up close that there is the bearing with the hole in the middle. Now, FISDA has a match feature. I'll click on the match button. And it will go and find any and all parts that are similar in geometry to the one that I've selected. And as we can see, it found my original bearing with a 96.32% match rate. I even named the original something different so that they were nothing alike. So clearly, it's noticing that little 3% difference was in fact that hole on top. Now, you'll notice under the original bearing part, there's a smart tag called ERAR. Now, FISNA also allows for metadata to be attached to the 3D models. So if I click on this button called Identify, I will see that I have an assigned tag here called ERAR. Now, this could be coming from an ERP system, a PLM system. It could be something that you added manually like I did with this one. But what you might have also noticed when looking at the new bearing, or bearing 99, you may have noticed there's a little red one on its identify button, okay? So if I press on this and scroll down, I will see there's no assigned tags to this part yet, right? Mostly because I just created it from scratch and simply uploaded it back into FISNA. But notice FISNA automatically suggested a new tag, okay? With 96.32% certainty, uh, FISNA is suggesting that perhaps this bearing should also be tagged as VRAR because the original model already had this tag. Okay, so just that association again between those two parts because they were so similar, FISNA's machine learning is making this recommendation. So if I accept this change, I will now find bearing 99 anytime I search for VRAR with a text search. So imagine the wealth of data we could be farming from our history of manufacturing with all of these parts and the insights we could unpack leveraging this technology. Now I mentioned earlier that one of the reasons that I chose to use a bearing was to illustrate something simple having a lot of impact when using something like FISNA to do geometric comparison and bringing more visibility to your 3D assets. But there's one more reason. And it's actually one of the most powerful features of FISNA today. And this is the ability to find parts within parts. Okay, so what do I mean by that? If I go back to my bearing and I select the feature part match instead of match, FISNA will actually traverse your 3D repository to find any and all assemblies or sub-assemblies that contain this bearing. Again, all based solely on geometry. Now, if I scroll down here, I can see that it found this cool little impeller assembly, which if I open it up and expand it, I can see the bearing right there. Now, if I back up, you probably noticed there was another part, and this was actually the entire turbocharger assembly. So if I open that and I expand and I zoom in here, I can see the bearing there as well. But if you turn and look closely, you will notice that it's actually 
the impeller assembly inside of the turbocharger where the actual bearing is located. Now, I wanna stress again, it did all this without any parts list or anything else. FISNA was able to find the bearing 3D object buried inside of another 3D object, the impeller axle, buried inside of yet another 3D object, the turbocharger assembly. Of course, I can also leverage the FISNA AR viewer to view either that impeller assembly or even the turbocharger itself. So when you apply this concept to thousands or again, even hundreds of thousands of parts and assemblies combined with the machine learning I shared earlier, and of course, our augmented reality viewer, this is the power of the FISNA Enterprise platform. Now, in addition to virtual and augmented reality, we could even theoretically start talking about alternative reality. And what do I mean by this? Well, it's really not that hard to see a world where you combine all of these great technologies into a complete end-to-end -end user experience, where you can split apart, say, the V6 engine underneath this turbocharger, <laughs> and part by part, piece by piece, you can examine in real time each of the parts. Compare them to each other, like parts maybe you didn't even realize you had, but FISNA found them because of that 100% geometric match. You can tag them and associate them with each other. Find alternative suppliers because maybe all your parts are now loaded into FISNA and you've given your procurement teams access. And then maybe alternative pricing. You could do this entire exercise and then reassemble the engine in the virtual domain and do your simulation testing with better, faster, and ultimately better sourced components. This is the ultimate amalgamation of the current state of most manufacturing today with their 3D models, along with the future state of virtual reality, augmented reality, digital twin, industry 4.0, and all brought together via the FISN Enterprise platform. So, I may be the first person ever to dedicate 15 plus minutes to a bearing during a presentation like this. Maybe I should call it the little bearing that could. But, uh, Again, this is very intentional because it's not always the fun projects we get to line ourselves up with, right? In fact, within large enterprise manufacturing, you can make the argument that we have to deal with things like bearings uh, even more often than we deal with cool things like rocket ships, right? We have the CAD design over here, we have ERP over here, our web apps are somewhere different, and now we wanna build AR experiences. And so our team at FISNA can help you start to pull these data silos together with your 3D data and turn it all into meaningful action, whether it's directly inside the FISNA console or via our APIs. So please come hang out with us in our virtual booth here this week. Our team would love to dive deeper with you on anything and everything I talked about here over the last 15 minutes or so. And I wanna give a special thanks out to Anne Marie and the crew at the VRAR Global Summit for the time and all the assistance over the past couple of weeks. So thanks for joining and dialing in. I hope you have a great day.